Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Monster Train. Last run was a, uh, uh, Stygian Guard? Is that the name of them? I think. Stygian Guard Red run, I think. I'm just gonna pick random... Hello, game? Yes. Ah, there you go. Thank you. I'm just gonna pick random clans, and we'll just do a run here. Covenant rank 4. Minor bosses have increased attack. Let's do it. Let's see what we get. I mean, it'd be fun to have the Stygian Guard be the secondary clan type, and uh, it looks like they are here. We're green, purple. So we're gonna have the the tanky green boss minion, and then we're gonna have Stygian Guard. Enhance a unit with plus eight, minus two, spell weakness, and deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to 10 times the amount of spikes on friendly units. I know that he's not in chat right now, but LeBlack Falcon, I think, had a run he was talking to me about where he had a lot of thorns and Bramble Lash one hit killed a boss because it's 10 times spikes and if you get like 100 spikes on friendly units that's a thousand damage so maybe we, what we want to do on this run is get the the radish green unit who has a lot of thorns you put him up front and then you Bramble Lash him alternatively we could take the boss sorry the champion archetype that gives us thorns if we get the option to which, un unfortunately, we don't. <laughs> but we could go for Revenge, draw a card, um, and then get another tanky minion that's going to be the focus of all of our healing, and then put the healing on that unit who gets thorns, and then all of a sudden you're balling out of control. Which I kind of like, because if you put... If you have Rejuvenate as your your option, I think... Or thorns. I think you got to focus that champion as the target of your healing. But cultivating the revenge draw, once the boss fight happens, you don't care about the sentient anymore. They can die. So I think you definitely go here and you use the champion as an early tank um, to get early damage out and to get more card draw. So I think we're going to do this. So let's take an artifact. When you draw a card, its cost is randomized between 0 and 3, draw plus 3 each turn. Is this Sneko? Is this a Sneko Eye artifact? <laughs> How can I not? How can I not take Sneko? We do have uh, two zero cost cards, but we also have Bramble Ash. So this also helps you to get your cards out earlier. Dude, oh, f, f, f it. Why not? L let's go crazy. And now if I lose, I can just blame, I can just blame uh, freaking Sneko Eye. So I'll take it. This is weird, but we'll do it. If we get a lot of zero cost cards, we'll be happy. Is the champion zero? That doesn't answer the question, but the champion at least is zero right now. So we'll put out the champion, we'll put out a train steward, we'll make the champion uh, hit very hard. All the enemies are dying. Uh, spell weakness doesn't really matter, except we'll still apply it to him. Uh, Bramble Lash does no damage. At least all the enemies are dying. No, they're not. Why didn't they not all die? Milk Jug says champion is always zero. So, in theory, the champion's always gonna be zero. I gotta kill some units. You, I can probably kill next turn. Ah, uh, we're not, we're, we might not get a spell. This might be the turn when we, when we wanna pop frozen lands just to do a bunch of damage to this guy. But we also need to kill these minions. And I actually don't even have the energy to kill all these minions. Yeah, I can't kill... Gold Guy. If I had one... One cost... Spell. That was not just this Frozen Lance, we could do it, but... If, if I can't kill the minion, I would... In fact, I can't do it regardless, because I can't put the train steward down. But if I can't kill the minion, I think I'm just gonna... We should avoid damage. I mean, the spell weakness is real nice on this guy. Ah! We get eight cards. Kill you. Kill you. Apply some healing. I don't like it. Oh, but you know what? We're getting more card draw anyways. I wish I could have gotten you. I mean, I want the gold. What do we get out of this? I don't know. I wasn't paying that much attention. I should have been. Uh, this is going to do 
you'll go down to 17 and you'll take another eight. One more stack of spell weakness might be enough. No, I gotta do two. Oh, but I can't apply both stacks of spell weakness. I can I can hit you with a sp Oh no, you are dead! Oh, because you you die before you heal. That's real good, actually. Um, let's make you let's make you stronger. Might as well hit you. We're getting bad draw, but we need to add expensive cards. Do the minus two health on enemies to kill them. I'll keep that in mind. I don't think it would have mattered, uh, but it will matter here on this turn because we could kill the backline unit, and uh, I think we will because we have no spells that target the backline and we don't have thorns. So this will make sure that we're not doing or not taking an extra four damage per turn on the boss. Uh, we need to kill you. Which we can do. Apply a little bit of regen. We're gonna take four damage on the pyre, but I mean, our deck sucks right there. We need to get better cards. <laughs> um, zero. Zero. I need to also go back into my Slay the Spire mindset of you play anything that costs zero immediately and then you go from there. So there's zero. Um, I can play one more card. Well, uh, I think we, I mean, if we play a Train Steward, you're taking another 15 damage. One hit, two hit, three hit, four hit. Yeah, it will take another 15. If I do this, you'll take more than 15. Ah, uh, but that lowers your health so that you can only get hit once without dying. We could heal. We could heal. You're taking 89 damage. Can't play a train steward. You have two spell weakness. A one cost spell is getting you very close to death. We have no uh, no thorns, so Bramble Lash is unplayable. So I think you play this. I think you spend one on the heal. You're still taking 89, so that doesn't even affect the numbers at all. So you're gonna hit my pyre once and then you're gonna die. We, we, here's the thing. If we didn't have this artifact, we could win. This artifact is, is letting this guy live. But in theory, it's gonna be really good later once we can get more uh, more expensive cards and also more energy, I hope. So Titan's Tooth is wonderful. I think I'm just gonna take it because it's three. Um, I also have another question, which is will cost reduction affect the uh, the cost of drawn spells. I think not. I think it is just going to be a random between zero and three, but it would be cool if we could still upgrade, uh, you know, Titan's Tooth and make it zero every turn. I don't think you can do that. Uh, so I am going to go, I think, units. We need a unit. <sighs> it's not really what I was looking for. We have cards that buff, though, the uh, the Sharpen, so we might want to go with the Animus, but because we have Thorns, we're going to want to put that on a frontline unit. Um, let's go quick instead. We'll try to buff it. Ha <laughs> yeah, ha! Thanks. Can at least give you some health so you can, uh, you can live. And then put Multi-Strike on you, and now you're, you're freaking lovely! You're a great card! Thank you very much! Anvil. Oh, that's that's a good point. Broken Anvil, which makes other spells free when you play an expensive one, would be really good. So I am going to go plus four on the enemy attacks. They get spikes. They don't have multi-strike. They have very low attack by default anyways. I think we'll be fine. Is that a cyborg Cheshire, Cheshire cat? <laughs> kind of. Right. We don't have to focus on the bottom. We can focus on the second level too. Um... I think we just focus on the bottom because our quick multi-strike kicks ass. However, saying that, if we focus up, we'll have uh, more turns to play spells in the future. 
So I think I will go top level. And you, you know what? Champion is always zero. Uh, I think we will go, and it is white, that's a good point. We'll go top level, because we'll have more turn to, turns to play spells against the boss. So we'll do this. We have a quick unit up at the top already. We can uh, make them able to one hit kill this guy so we can kill both units when they get up here. And now at this point, it's like, well, let's just dump units. Like, dump you, dump you, dump you. I don't care if they die because I just want them out of my deck. And we'll be fine, we'll be fine here. I, I don't even, no, no, no. I was thinking about Titan's Tooth, but we should, we should sharpen. Brambo Lash does nothing except up here, so there you go. <laughs> hey, Johnny Four, for welcome to the stream. So you're dead. Don't care. You're both dead. You're taking two damage, which is not that bad at all. I can reduce that damage quite easily. That's free. Um, might as well spell weakness you, because you're already dead. Razor sharp. Get you more damage. Tank some shots. I'm just waiting for the boss. There he is. Yeah, he's he's freaking toast. There's no way he's getting a kill on me. In fact, all I need to do is play the um, Titan's Tooth. That's gonna. Uh, we're not actually gonna draw it, but that that would kill the backline unit and make it very. Wait, where is my Titan's Tooth? Oh, there it is. It's gold. I was looking for a blue border. It's gold border. That's right. Well, you play it, and he's dead. I say he's dead because his. Thorn Granter is dead and his tank is gonna die in a second. And then we just we just keep stacking up the bonuses. Stack it up. Stack up. Heal. Heal. End turn. We didn't really get a lot of value out of the extra draw. We might want to try to add bonus thorns to the sentient, but we you know, we didn't just didn't get the option for it yet. We might get the option in the future when we uh when we upgrade, I can't play Bramble Ash. Well, I mean, I literally can, but not against you. <laughs> and you know what? This is actually, I think, what we want. We want our tank at the top, and I'm, I'm just realizing we want to be able to build up as much thorns as possible and then Bramble Lash, Bramble Lash at the very end, I think. So I think we want regen. Glimmer is also just freaking lovely. None of these cards are expensive. Um, yeah, this is like a Sneko run. Apparently this is the Sneko relic. Um, Glimmer or Sap? I like the AoE, but if we have Thorns, we don't need it. I'm gonna take the Sap. And then we take the expensive card. Yeah. And then this is not actually the unit I wanted. I wanted the one that would give us thorns. I mean, this is still fine. And we do need a target for some of our healing. No, we don't. We can use the champion for the time being. I'm gonna skip these, I think. Although another Animus would be nice. We could probably duplicate the one we have, though. It's a 25 times 228 quick unit, which is real nice. Although, I've, I've been having trouble with not having enough good units, but then again, the units that we have are really good. I'm gonna skip. It's so dangerous not adding a good unit, but I still think it's what we want. And we could get a new unit here, ideally, and then upgrade them immediately. We want Thorny Boy. It's not Thorny Boy, but a sweep is good still. So I am going to take Husk Hermit, and we'll upgrade Husk Hermit. If we have the money for it. I mean, Jesus. I would like Quick, but we can't reroll into, into it, so we're just going to uh, upgrade your attack, upgrade your health, and now we have kind of a secondary tank. And I will remove a Train Steward because I just don't care about them. We don't have the capacity to play all these units, but at least we have two options for the back line instead of just 
the the one quick unit. And here, I, I don't think we can take the. Uh... Oh wait, you're different. The historian approaches you. My time in hell has granted me access to the records of so many fascinating clans. The pages have lost their value, however, if, if as, as I've memorized their contents. I have the records of Hellhorned, Awoken, and Stygian Guard. You know what? As you unlock more clans, I bet you get more books. So we can get Multi-Strike. For five energy, we can make it cost less. We can make it a unit quick, or we can apply silence to enemies. I think you want Multi-Strike on the unit in the back. And it's gonna be it's gonna be very cheap. I hope. That's pretty good. I mean, even if we apply that to the champion, you know, we can buff the attack of the champion. We have cards that do it. This is so weird for a for a build so far, but I'm still not comfortable because we have not gotten a lot of gold, we've not removed a lot of cards, and I'm just relying on draw. We do get a lot of cards. But if they're not the cards I want, I'm, I'm very scared. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did last time. Even if it costs us the entire turn. I'm just, I'm waiting for a cheap Titan's Tooth, but it's been three every time, every time I've seen it so far. Uh, Husk Hermit could be good here. It's not quick, but it's still going to do a lot of damage. I might prefer something else, but I really don't know what to put out. It'd be like Husk Hermit Train Stewart in the front to protect them and take the 10. The card draw is really nice, but like if we don't play the Husk Hermit, when are we going to play it? Is kind of where I'm thinking with this, so. Oh, you know what? No, we should Husk Hermit and then Razor Sharp. You have the health to survive. Oh, you know what? You're zero. There you go. Make you better. And because you're quick with multi-strike, you can kill bombs that get up here, so I, I really don't mind this. And, uh, you do 32 damage. There you go. Well, I mean, you would have taken 13, so we could have killed you anyways. Oh, and you know what? The bomb went last, so we actually protected ourselves from a lot of damage there. Damage shield. I need one attack. This'll do it. Will it? No, I need another attack. This'll do it. This is free. I'd like to spell weakness the boss and then use this, but we have to do things in the correct order here. Because damage shield means you're not going to die. Oh, but you know what? You're multi-striking. All we need to do is hit you literally once and you're dead. So Titan's Tooth does get kills here. Um, I would love to also be able to play Crypt Builder onto the boss, but I, I don't think I can. So we're going to play the free cards, definitely. I could apply Spell Weakness to you and then hit you later. Um, and I kind of might as well, because we have no, no buffs. I was thinking maybe we could have like a buff card, but we don't actually have any of those in hand. So yeah, we are just going to uh, apply Spell Weakness for the future and uh, end turn. Thank you very much, Quickie. Yeah, so as long as we can like hit the boss with spell weakness and attacks and spells, I'll be happy. Uh, okay, keep buffing our back line. You're dead. Don't even have to worry about you. I think we can do it again. You're still dead. Uh, we could play the regen now or later. I think we should play it later because I think that the fight's gonna last long enough for that to matter. You know, it's still like five turns away before final wave, so. And once we get final wave, we have three turns to apply the weakness or the uh, the potion anyways. And nothing survives. When it gets to the top, they get iced by the quick unit. We might want floor capacity so we could put another unit up on the top. That might be what we want. So we want to apply another level of multi-strike. That's easy. Uh, spikes, thorns. Uh, you're not taking any damage. Let's keep buffing your attack. You're now at 57 times 3 with 20 health. That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> He's getting hit by Frostbite. There's the final wave. So now we want to apply the uh, the Consume Potion. But it's going to be a, a hot, 
minute before we grab it. Um, thank you. Maybe tank you in the back. Titans tooth you. Probably restore you? There's no point in restoring the top row. They're all dead. We're not ta we haven't taken any damage on our champion. <laughs> Maybe that means we positioned incorrectly, but I mean, how can I complain if it's been working so well? And in fact, I'm like, what if we just regen the Husk Hermit, because he only does nine, and we very well might be able to kill him, but let's let's not do that. Let's do what we what we should do. What we're what we're building the run towards, which is uh You're taking 153, which is the top line, because he's toast. He's toast. We we kill him in two turns with the quick unit. Bound Hades asks, do we know the lore of the game? Heaven made hell freeze over. Heaven destroyed hell, and we're trying to relight hell. There's probably more lore to it, but that's all I need to know. Uh, that's 80 damage. Which is 80 damage times two. I can't make it times three, but that's still pretty good. There you go. Buff you. Buff you. He's, he actually, he's dead before he can even attack. He's dead in one hit. So, I mean, that's a good sign. Transfer Frostbite. Spreading Spores. This is not good enough without double stack, but it is Spikes and Regen, which is kind of exactly what I want. We can apply Quick to a unit. On the Sweep unit, that's nice, but... <sighs> They're really just here to kind of clean up the trash. And we don't really need to worry about them with the Animus of Speed. We need to remove cards. Spreading Spores is very interesting. We can, if we get a lot of them, we can buff a lot. And if I can double stack it, I will be very happy. And again, we got the wrong tank unit. So we might just focus on our champion being the tank unit. The Siren of the Sea is nice. Um, the Incant, we're going to be playing a bunch of spells, I hope. But... I can't really complain with what we've got, and we have three units that we can put on the same row now. So I'm gonna not take anything. And uh, I think we're gonna go capacity so we can we can dump more units together. The energy is nice, we can play more cards, but we can get that next time. What I need is card removal, and there it is. We could duplicate um, like a second Animus of Speed, which sounds lovely, but we, we're buffing one of them. I don't think we need two of them. I'd rather have a sweep unit as like a backup. We could just buff a spell that's really expensive, but I think we, we we are better if we can remove some cards. So let's take a quick look at the artifact. Gain seven energy on the first turn. Okay, now we can play all of our cards. And there's spikes. So we go with spikes. Now we actually have a unit that can play the, uh, the card and, and do 50 damage. We'll remove the train stewards. I know I'm, I'm removing a lot of minions, but we have a tank. Let's remove a Dark Lance or Frozen Lance. We don't play those. We play better spells. We'll keep Train Stewards and we'll um, use them to soak up damage, I guess. Spell Shield. I don't... I, I have spells. I don't really play spells for damage. Triggers after combat gain three. We have quick units. You're relentless. We don't need to build on the bottom, we can build on the top. Enemy units enter a spell shield. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. So as long as we ignore the bottom row, we'll go to the top. They're, they'll get stronger, but once we get the quick unit out, they're dying in one hit once we buff them. So let's get you out, put you in the back. Um, we don't have to play Spreading Spores immediately. We can wait on it. It still knocks him back, even though Spell Shield absorbs the damage. Interesting. Um, we have 10 energy. Should have uh, played it in a different order. We could have knocked out both Spell Shields on one unit. 
I like being able to play the entire hand on turn one. That's pretty sweet. So Animus is zero. We buff them. And at 33 damage, they're almost capable of killing these units. We should be able to buff them one more time because we have two of those in the deck. So you're getting two kills next turn. And possibly the book, which is real nice. Okay, you know, I'm experimenting with spell shield and spell weakness. <laughs> That's what's going on. Uh, let's buff your spikes again. I think already we won. I think at this point, if the boss showed up, we'd be okay. But it's it's just gonna get better and better, I hope. By the way, there is a version of the boss for this floor that um, that gets stronger when it gets higher and higher. So in that case, we might want to we might have wanted to set up on the bottom, but because the boss doesn't do that, we're perfectly safe building up on the top. And now. They're dead and we're taking no damage. Oh, excuse me, I had to sneeze again. And I think we just keep stacking up that multi-strike. The boss doesn't have thorns, so we'll keep it going. And whenever we have the energy to play regen, we'll play regen. Can I get to 60 damage? No. So they might get a hit in pretty soon, but they don't really hit for that much. There's a brief respite. Uh, spell shield two means it's gonna be very difficult to actually get spells out. Yeah, because they're actually living right now. I'd prefer if they didn't. You know what? This'll make sure that they, uh, they don't do anything. This one card right here. Boom, because now the quick is gonna hit the two in the front. So with three energy, um, we can Spreading Spore or Razor Sharp. This is a little bit more consistent. Should have put that on the bottom, my bad. Oh no, no damage. You have a tank, you're relentless, spell shield, and that's it. So let's apply one more multi-strike. That gets another kill. And if I can do two more damage, the one in the back is dead. Well, extra spikes will do that. Now you're toast. So we regen. You know, instead of two regen, let's do two regen, regen two spikes. Hey, Ron Busabout, long time no see, hello, welcome. Okay, we can buff one more time. We can also train Stuart. I could push him to the back. He does no damage. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Um, I can apply more spell weakness, but that doesn't seem right. I think we just keep buffing. I mean, we do nearly 200 damage a turn, and this guy does 13. Literally, he can't kill me. And we just keep stacking things up. Let's get more. Wait a minute. You still have two spell weakness. There's 440 damage. <laughs> oh, you know what? I could have played, I should have played that and we would have done another 40 times two. We would have killed him, I think, had I played that card first. Oh, we almost one shot the boss with the bramble. <laughs> it's, this deck is strong when we can actually get our cards out. Descend the unit and restore 10 health. This is very interesting to build up a, a second floor. We can focus our constructions there, but I, I really like what we have right now. I kind of just want to focus on more regen and then just have it all go. Admittedly, building up on one floor might be better. I can add in some, some different units and then stack them up more. Sting is awful, because the spells won't cost zero. But um, the, the spikes is also nice, so we can get more spikes faster and then use Bramble. 
we haven't used the card yet, so it doesn't have the gold border, but how can I say no to descend a unit and restore 10 health? We can descend enemies if we want. Permafrost consumes silence. This could be really good to counter some bosses or enemies that we don't like. Drain is also interesting to discard a random card. If it hits an offering, you'd be happy, but if the offerings are cheap, we're gonna play them. Kind of like the unnamed tome. It might be three energy and stay in our hand forever, but if we want to play it, if we need to play it, we have it. We have the option. So I think we go right to the spells. We gain a free relic and we can upgrade spells. And we do have spells that want upgrading, like uh, ideally double, uh, double enhancement, whatever it's called, <laughs> double stack. Uh, we don't get advantage out of the health, but I think that's what I want, because I, I don't want minions. I already have minions, I haven't been adding any. So, we'll go right. You can remove buffs from enemies randomly, that's acceptable. No double strike. We get permafrost. I don't really think this works on anything because a card that's expensive, I want to shuffle it. So we, we're instead going to make an enemy do more damage and consume. Plus 20. Frozen Lance. Restore 30 health consume. Titan's Tooth we don't want to consume. Let's get rid of like the Frozen Lances. I'm also tempted to see if this works. I don't know if upgrade a spell to minus one does anything, but I tell you what, just for the, the video evidence, I'm gonna put it on Crypt Builder and if it's ever three, we know for sure, okay? I know it's, it's 20 gold, who cares? Now, unfortunately, we didn't get our... Yes? Apply multi-strike one multiple times. <laughs> um, we uh, didn't get double stack, but that's fine. What is this, 20 and consume? I think you should get rid of the Frozen Lances. There, and now we don't necessarily need to purge them. We can instead purge something else, like a Restore? Because we, we literally have a card that, that's better than that. It's the, the one that duplicates itself. So we'll get rid of the Restore, get rid of another Restore, and uh, leave. Okay, is the deck substantially better? I mean, I think so. We can play a lot of cards on on the first few turns of combat. Uh, you know, we draw eight, have nine energy, ten energy. It takes us three turns to get through the uh, the draw pile completely. I think we're okay here, and I think we should build up on the second level so we can have the uh, top unit move down. Even even if it's just a train steward, what else are we doing with them? So. Although, it gives us another turn. We really need more units to make full advantage of this, but I'll do it like this for now. I mean, we can play everything in our hand. Nearly. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can't play the regen, which is honestly fine. So yeah, let's... Well, I need you to, to, to block. One, two, three, four, five. You do way too much damage. Actually, I'd rather... I'd rather enhance with spikes. And regen. We'll play the train steward when... When the cards are cheaper, we'll do it, I think. Now you are doing, oh, you should have played him up here. We're, you're doing more damage now, but I think we still got you. I mean, we multi-strike two, which is now multi-strike three. You're all dead. Uh, make you hit harder. Train Stewart gets the kill at the top. I can do 140 damage already, which is lovely. That's free. Get the regen shuffling. Okay, pretty good. I could have made that Bramble Ash 
freeze, I suppose? I don't think that's necessary. You will soon become nothing. Yo. <laughs> I'm liking the multi-strike. And this is free, so we can play this whenever we want. Uh, so I'll become nothing, huh? Well, uh, you should become nothing. And you're already dead. But if I play this, it consumes. So we'll get rid of it. We'll play one restore. I don't know, spell weakness you. <laughs> I like the frozen card. You know, it gets a card out of our draw, so we get back to multi-strike faster. Titan's Tooth again, which is just kind of lovely down here. It makes the enemies stronger, but they still die in... Well, in two hits each, which we can do. And this is free. Uh, we'll make you stronger. We'll make you stronger. And we're really going all in on a single unit, but I think it's it's perfectly fine. And we could even sharpen the one in the back, but I'd rather sharpen our, uh, our tank. I'm realizing that we don't apply a lot of regen quickly, because we need the regen cards to duplicate before they're really uh, giving us a lot of excess regen. Making these double stack would be lovely, and it would be very easy to make them double stack. We just need to get them to... Uh... We just need to get them to uh, to be upgraded with double stack at a shop, but we didn't see it. So, spreading spores is free. Restore is free. Edge is free. You have no... You have no uh, stealth, which is lovely. We might as well freeze you. Or silence you, rather, so you don't extinguish and give extra attack on enemies. Uh, we will multi-strike one more time. I'll kill you. I re Thorns are only at 24, and a regen's only at 7, but the boss is dead in like two turns due to our just massive, massive damage. You seen it cannot be rooted. I really want to like move you down to to the next floor. Can't move. I because you can move them up, but you can't move them down. It, but it says can't move. Look, I just wanted to. I wanted to know. By the way, there's 480 damage. Why is silence a beehive? <laughs> I don't know. It's so weird. Pyre gets 15 attack. I'm getting the gold. Our Pyre never takes damage. Now, I do like Pyre Shards. I actually like another Bramble Lash, too. But this is like... We don't need it. Sure, it's 50 damage for two right now, which is actually really good, and it gets better as the fight goes on. And it's affected by spell weakness. But if we make this card better if we buff it and then remove other cards, I think our deck gets stronger, because we want to get more regen around, and we have enough damage in the Animus. Once we play the Animus, the enemies are freaking dead. So I'm gonna skip. I really like Frenzied Swarm. Oh, but you gotta go Guardian's Amulet. If you get this for free, you're so happy. I'm, I'm just adding expensive cards. I I'm, I'm playing Slay the Spire right now. <laughs> Which is not bad, not at all. Uh, upgrade units. All units that are not train stewards are already upgraded. So we could go left for gold and upgrading spells. I really want the card removal though. Oh, that... But we need to get double stack. This is a tough one. I'm gonna go to the right because of the fact that we don't take advantage of the 20 health. So... Really quickly, though. I can only upgrade a train steward. I mean, I could. I could upgrade a steward and then play him. But let's take it. Let's take a look at the concealed caverns first. Rarely do I do this first. Hmm. We can move units. Descend a unit to the bottom. Ascend a. Ascend an enemy to the pyre, apply days three. 
I don't think we want either. This does mean that we can build high and then drop low, but the days really is annoying. It is a good, like, I need more time to build things, get out of here card, because we can dump a, an entire floor to the bottom. Or sorry, one unit to the bottom. And then kill him later with like a spell or something. So maybe that makes this worthwhile. This can just kill an enemy. You know, it does uh, 90 damage. And it consumes. You know, give me the hook. If we can kill an enemy with it and then it exhausts, that's funny. <laughs> How'd that work if the floors are frozen? They go as far down as they can, I think. Except bosses don't move. Um, so now we'll remove two cards. And you know what? Maybe we'll buff one train steward. And let's remove an energy siphon. I haven't been playing them because they're not free and they don't really do that much for, the, for me right now. And then for you, I think I am just gonna make you a big beefy train steward. You're worth playing if we draw you. And uh, we can always descend you or descend another unit down to our, our main floor if we want. Guardians have multi-strike and they get rage. I'm not worried at all. The question is, where are you raging? Raging at the bottom? Dude, no problem there. Uh, we got our Animus. We have a lot of free cards, including a free Titan's Tooth. So I'm like, okay, let's start there. Unless we can apply Spell Weakness, which we can't. Um, we could consume immediately and just like ice a Clipped Guardian, which makes our, our life easier until we get stronger. I like that. Dude, I mean, we have 10 energy. We can play everything we want. So you know what? Here's a Titan's Tooth. Uh, Here's your pulley, so you're you're dead. We're gonna stack up on the second floor so we can descend a unit down here. We're gonna play you, you, enhance your attack. You're almost dead. Uh, we might as well sap. I don't know why. <laughs> like if we sap the boss, will will the sap roll over to when they actually start attacking? No, because they do take damage from fr frostbite and lose it every turn. So I'm like, okay, what if we? What if we sap here? And kill you. And ice you. Here we go. When you play a spell, you get 10 armor. That doesn't really bother me, because you're dead. And we should... You didn't even rage. We should play the Husk Hermit so we can descend them later. Rambalash is already 100 damage. Nothing else is really worth playing except for spreading spores, but that's free. So we'll play that, and then we will um, play the Husk Hermit on the floor that we want to play it on. If we play it up here, it will hit the, uh, the boss, but I'd rather just, you know, get you out here. Okay. There's our free spell in hand. The boss does not have a silence opportunity, so if we can play it, we should. All the enemies are dead, we're taking 31 damage. Kinda sucks. Multi-strike is lovely. Still taking 31 damage. I need to increase your damage slightly or hit you in the front, so. That'll do that. Now we're taking 15 damage. If I keep playing spells, we will still, um, or we'll make him strong enough that he'll live. So maybe on this turn, we just train steward at the top and then drop him. Because now only one of these units is attacking. You have 74. If I play this, you'll have 84 and we'll take another 16 damage. So we're not gonna play restore, weirdly enough. We're just waiting for that book to come back around. It's not, I don't think, because we just shuffled, but... 
the more we can draw this book, the happier we are. So you have 85. You're living to hit us. If I play Titan's Tooth, you're not living to hit us. I could play the Tome. For one, I don't know if it's worth it though, weirdly enough. Like, I think this is worth more. I think this is worth more. And then I could sap, but I think this is worth more. How come you, oh, it's Slay! You're a different unit. I thought he gained armor when I played a spell. Maybe that was a different unit and I, they just look the same to me. Uh, we're healing, end turn. Thank you, quick boy. Quick girl, rather. Quick nymph? I don't know. Frostbite. Crypt Biller. I mean, that just nearly kills someone. Um, we can Frostbite someone and then kill him. I also could, uh, like, Frostbite or um, Spell Weakness the boss, but that's such a minor concern. Maybe we just heal. Like, heal, heal, make sure you guys both die. Again, okay, just kind of waiting for the book. <laughs> the rage sucks, but we might get sap, and we did get sap. Uh, I don't think it's worth playing. And 49 times 3, you're taking 84 damage. If I increase your damage by 8, that still doesn't kill you. I could play a spell to kill you next turn, though. If I enhance you with Sharpen, that might get a kill. These are too expensive, so we, we should ignore anything that costs 3, I think. You're almost dead. I can kill you with a spell next turn, I don't mind that. I think the next thing we want is is energy. Just one extra energy goes a long way. 15 regen, it's stacking quite nicely. It's taking a it's taking a while, but it's getting there. I also cannot kill you with a spell, which honestly is fine, believe it or not. Enhancing it with eight or more regen. Give me the, give me the eight. That's what the train steward's for. The train steward's there to just kill anything that makes it through. <laughs> Deal 60 damage. Could sap ya, or I could do 120 damage. Two regen? You do 20 damage? I mean, you're dead. We, we're doing 200 a turn. So I'm just gonna ice you faster and play that. We got gotcha. you. We certainly have you. We could descend nobody. <laughs> Apply more regen. Oh, oh, I should have saved the spell weakness for this. Bramble Lash. Always forget about it. Uh, but I tell you what. Have more spikes. Bramble Lash for 360, which is like a third of your health. This quick animus is getting every single kill. <laughs> if the enemy's dead, you don't need to do anything. Bound Hades, that is not the point. The point is that I can make I can make it worse. That's the point. That's the entire point. <laughs> Discard your hand, draw five. I actually like this. You might get a new hand of things that you can play. Channel Song, very good, uh, at least initially, for getting higher quality units out, but the units have been fine so far. It's not like we have a few units that we play. We have big units that we play. And they're already upgraded. Um, but getting a different hand could be extremely beneficial. 
I still like the idea of Channel Song though, because if you draw this before a unit, you can get a better unit. But if you don't have units in, in your draw pile, if they're all in hand, then you can't wait for Channel Song. So it's a dead card. Um, but I'm gonna take it, because if you draw it, you can draw a unit. And I will go for extra energy, so we have four per turn. Now, I think we want left path. Duplication plus card removal is really nice. We want to duplicate, uh, I mean, any sort of a spell. I haven't been paying attention to the energy cost, but I think you want to duplicate the tome. More multi-strike. We don't have a lot of gold. We'll get more gold later. Um, so let's go, if we do card removal, what are we removing? <laughs> Train steward. Uh, probably regen. And then maybe a razor sharp edge, because we, we get this enough on shuffle. Maybe restoring retreat. Nah, no, I'd still like to get my unit in position. Maybe energy siphon. We, we, I've, I've never been playing this card. I mean, it could be good on a boss. Give me the, give me, give me this. Whoa. Dead Hellborn from across the Nine Rings of Hell are strung up in his atonement. Just for existing. Playing a Blight card deals 100 damage to the front enemy unit. When summoned, friendly units get plus one for every Blight in your deck. That's three attack. When, you're, when you play your first Blight card each turn, restore five Pyre health. This seems awful. I think they need to change this event because it's just like almost never worthwhile. Um, duplicate, I think you duplicate the tome. I really do. If we can make a unit do f like 500 damage, that's incredible. We could also duplicate something that, you know, gives us regen, but dude, that tome is wonderful. And then we'll, we'll remove a couple of cards. I could just remove the consume cards, but I think I'm going to get rid of spell weakness. And then maybe the last restore. Because I, I haven't been playing that unless it's zero, which means I just have to wait for it to be zero, which is not that good. Why, hello, welcome, we is a blob. More health, more spikes. The health is not a problem once we apply regen, so more spikes. I, I, I like taking spikes on the, on the champion when they have a lot of health already. At the start of battle, enemy units, units appear in each floor for 400 gold, absolutely. Apply Ember Drain 1 to the attacked unit. So we want to kill these guys quickly, which we can. You tank, you have a lot of health. And he's got a, a boss trigger, means the book counters him perfectly. Every time he gets hit, he gets more damage, except we can counter that with, uh, with our book. So you know what? Easy. Hello, Toucan8 as well. Yes, I am playing Monster Train, and Blob, I'm doing just fine. Thank you for asking. So this should be an easy fight. I don't care if enemy units die, or live, I should say. Um, we might not want to worry about dropping a unit if we can open up here and uh, get a bunch of attacks in. Like, we want to might want to build in the second position. We might, might want to build at the top. I'm, just, I'm thinking about it. If we build at the top, I can kill everything and then just have a sacrificial train steward. Gives us another turn to play attacks. Restoring retreat would be useless, but... This costs two. I think the upgrades work. Because it costs two, and it's not green. It's actually white. Or maybe that this overrides Volatile Gauge. Maybe we can make a card free and then this won't adjust its cost. I don't know. Or maybe this was three and then it got reduced to two. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on Crypt Builder. We have 11 energy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 14 energy in hand. So I can play everything but one of the three costers. Which is fine because we have the Animus that we want anyway. So we could be like, boom. Animus behind. Train Steward at the front. These guys live. We can kill one of them with a spell. 
kill another one with Crypt Builder, we take five damage. That's perfectly okay with me. Could have also played up here and then used Bramble Lash to get a kill, then descended. But that's a little weird. Oh, you're too big! Well, in that case, you can get the other kill. We should have, you know, obviously killed them before we played the unit, but it doesn't matter too much. And you're killing three of them, which means you're killing all of them. They're all dead. Well, we're gonna take the damage from this, but oh well. And we gotta save the book. Okay. Okay. First time I'm watching you play, you're already playing a Sneko Deco goodness. I didn't choose to, like, it was the random relic we got at the beginning of the game, so I'll, I'll accept it. <laughs> So, multi-strike book, you basically always play it. Uh, the pulley... won't kill you unless I do a little bit of damage first. This w might be enough. This would be enough. Uh, you're... you're dead. You're doing two damage and then dying. Yeah, let's not worry about you. Let's play the Husk Hermit. Because it's free. Let us also, I think I want to steal Claw Pulley here. Steal Pulley Claw, whatever. Same difference. Uh, if we do that, we can kill this unit if we play Titan's Tooth and Frozen Lands. It gives us a free turn next turn. Now you're dead. Um, I can sap someone. There you go, now I'm taking no damage. We have no regen out. Yeah, loud. We have no regen out, but we'll get it eventually. You know, we, we, we're waiting for the one card that duplicates itself, basically. And now we have it. It's expensive, but... Okay, Crypt Builder is now free, and it's green. You're already dead, so... Hit you. I think we need to get these shuffling. Channel Song cannot hit anything, so we'll, let's exhaust it. And we can play two cards. Well, you play your one costers then. Add spikes, add damage. I might want to consider putting the spikes on the Animus of Speed, not for spikes, but for damage. Because it's plus four attack times four. <laughs> but admittedly, the spikes might end up being more worthwhile eventually. So we can only play one book this turn. So we'll play the book, because it means we're closer to getting kills on enemies. Um, I can Frostbite. You do no damage, so I don't really care. I'd rather Frostbite down here. Get the regen going, finally. Restoring retreat, oh! Hey, we finally got him. Lots of big units. <laughs> Gasp, he has Radish Man. No, this isn't, this is Husk Hermit, not, not the Thorn Radish. I didn't find Thorn Radish on the run yet. Uh, by the way, you're dead. Add the regen. Put spikes on you. Sap you, do a bunch of damage, end turn. Getting good value, I didn't play the book, admittedly. But we have more books to play. There's one. By the way, you're dead. We're doing just fine. I mean, this is easy. And now you don't gain any uh, extra... Why is it an Hourglass Revenge? <laughs> that should be like at the end of turn or at the end of combat. Whatever, it doesn't matter, it's gone. Book, always book. Could sap you. Doesn't seem that important. He's buff. The more we buff, the happier we're gonna be. I mean, the thing is 12 regen is enough because 12 regen means that it's gonna take six turns before he can even hit me. So it's like, I, I don't, look, I'm gonna spend all my energy on a book. Huh. 
So it does seem like. Oh my god. <laughs> it's 400 damage. <laughs> it does seem like we benefit if we can add cost reduction on the spells, so we really should do that to the uh, the spell that's getting cycled around and shuffled every turn, and adding more of it into our uh, our pile. Because we want to uh, get that as much as possible. We don't need another book. Uh, another sap is probably fine, but I'd rather thin the deck out to make it easier to draw the one that we have. So I think we really should go for upgraded spells. Even though the right path does have card removal and unit upgrades, we don't have units to upgrade. So, and we could duplicate another card. But let's upgrade a spell and then maybe duplicate something, okay? Is this the, this is the last fight? My lord. So, um, where's the card that's duplicating? This one. Okay, we, we can't. We can. We can make it cost zero. It might cost zero to one. Maybe it randomizes. I still don't exactly know. I still don't exactly understand what's going on with that. But we'll freaking try. Uh, nothing needs to remain in hand. Plus twenty magic power and consume. Restoring retreat might be nice because we only need to play this card once. So it leaving the deck would be very good. So let's upgrade this with the consume, and then we'll reroll. We'll make the spreading plague free. Holdover on a book seems lovely. Look, it's a book. Reading Rainbow. And plus 10 magic power on whatever does AoE. So that would be Titan's Tooth, I think. Descend a unit and restore 40 health. Consume Frozen Lances. Nah, give me the Titan's Tooth. A little bit more AoE damage is always nice. We'll remove some cards, but first let's spend money here. When a card with Consume is played, deal 30 damage to the front enemy. By the way, what is our final boss? Half stacks on buffs and debuffs. That's fine, because multi-strike is not a buff. Multi-strike is like a trait. As a result, multi-strike will not be reduced. Thorns and regen will, but I have cards that add thorns and regen quickly. First time a turn, a friendly unit is healed, draw one. We don't have direct healing, we have regen only. So that's hard to enable. The only card we have that does direct healing is Restoring Retreat now. So I don't think we take this. Rooted at the Room of Pyre is not important. Consumed to do damage, that doesn't seem that important. Let's just reroll immediately. <laughs> units cost two less. I only have four units. Silence when an enemy unit enters your terrain. That's pretty good. Then let us duplicate a card. And I really do think we duplicate, I mean, we could duplicate the multi-strike, <laughs> but we're gonna play it enough. We're gonna play it enough. Let's duplicate Spreading Spores and see if this does what I think it's gonna do. We could also duplicate a unit, but we, we buff this unit. This unit's just for sweep and defense. This unit, I just had to spend money earlier, so I think we regen Spreading Spores. And we see if it does, in fact, cost less. Now, we should remove a card. We could remove Channel Song, but I still like it. I think I'm going to remove a Frozen Lance. I know it exhausts, but I don't really care. We could also remove Razor Sharp Edge and just have one of them. Because we're basically playing it whenever it shows up anyways, and I'd rather get Multi-Strike than more damage. Well, up to, a, up to a point. Up to a point, I think. Anyways, this seems great. Let's see what happens. It's the final boss. Half buff and debuff stacks. So again, that doesn't affect multi-strike. It does affect thorns and regen, but whatever, we'll, we'll deal. So spreading spores is one. Okay. It's not zero, but it's not three. Ugh. 
Let's see. I can't lose her again. There's some lore stuff happening. I don't understand any of it, but it, there is some lore stuff going on here. Uh, so we're gonna play all of our units, our good units, because we have them, and we're gonna play them in the middle so we can just send the uh, train steward down when, when possible. Uh, we are going to pull someone up. This unit's not dead though, which makes me not really want to do that, but oh well. This is also a trait change, so this does not get removed. Channel Song gives me my last unit. Hello. <laughs> okay. We'll do that. Um, you're silenced. If I can't kill the frontline unit, maybe I'll just pull one of the back lines up. I suppose. We should play this. We should play this. Um, because I'd rather take zero damage. 40, 40, 40, and then heat attack. Yes, let's just, um... Pull you up. Get out of here. That's I want that card exhausted. Milk Jug says, I know clan lore, but not angel lore. Hmm. Maybe we actually leave the train steward up here so we can get the kill. We have spells that can do it, but maybe some at some point we won't have spells. Anyway, spreading spores is zero, so we'll play it. We have two books which need to be played, so there's one. And there's the other, and now everything should die. We have an attack. Encrypt Builder. Um, I'd rather not take any damage down here, but let's let's uh, keep him healed so that he can stay up there if we need him to stay up there. Maybe I'll just leave the train steward at the top. Maybe we should have built at the top and sacrificed the train steward to the second position. I don't know. We gotta play the book. Spreading sport is zero and one, so the energy reduction does work. Which is kind of lovely. <laughs> this is free. End turn. This is pretty good. <laughs> and we can sap the boss a lot. I'm, well, maybe we can't, because the reduction's happening already. So book. Book. Spreading Spore, Spreading Spore. Getting free cards is so nice! I want more. Now, these um, these do get worse over time because the boss does remove our stacks. So maybe we, should, we shouldn't we should worry about him necessarily. Let's, let's look at what we got. More damage is good. I'm gonna dump one of these units so I can kill him next turn instead when I have more stacks of uh, damage multiplication. I hope. Yeah, because our thorns and regen is down, so the spreading spores is not the be all end all, unfortunately. I think I increase your damage. Another multi hit. One unit's living. Now, not so much. You're still living, huh? You're so close to death. <laughs> but you're not quite there. Alright. Oh, you know what? You're still living up here too. I'm gonna have to spend this. But I can't, because I gotta play the book. The book is like the most important thing. It's gotta be played every turn. Even if a unit does 10 damage to my my pyre. Honestly, I'm 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 accepting it. See, I've, I've, I've stopped playing spreading spores. We're gonna play them after final wave. Because it just doesn't seem to be worth playing. We are doing 450 damage a turn plus now with our unit in the back, so I mean, I gotta admit, we're, we're probably fine. <laughs> Let's consume this. 
an end turn. <laughs> There's final wave. So now, now we'll spend all of our spreading spores. Oh my god. 57 times 11 and it's only gonna get better. Let's play this. Play this. So to be fair, we don't really care about Thorns and Regen now because we do 600 damage a turn, but we'll still stack it up. There's another multi-hit. Bramble Lash for 280. Might as well play all of them. We're taking seven damage. And 57 times 13, uh, look. I pride myself on being good at math. Those are too high numbers. <laughs> oh my god. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You cannot stop this form. You cannot convince me to turn on super fast mode. I want to see every single hit. <laughs> and that's uh, 741 damage a turn, by the way, in case you're curious. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's dangerous to have all of your eggs in one basket like that, but uh, we learned so much about just not not only only uh, certain spell mechanics, but hey, if you get Snekawai, I'm calling it Snekawai, you can make cards cheaper and that they will still be cheaper if you draw them with Snekawai. That's insanely good. So <laughs> we got a gold steel pulley claw. That's probably our garbage card. Uh, one Horn's Tome, which is just freaking wonderful if you have the energy to play it. Oh my god. Is this what Plantera is like in Master Mode? <laughs> uh, Master Mode plus the Oh God It's Harder Seed. I forget what it is, but you know what? Shattered Shell. Sweep, Slay, plus two attack. Yeah. Consume. Draw one. Enhance the drawn card to cost zero. Forever, I think. Modify the card for the duration of battle. Yeah, so you can make really good cards free. That's pretty good. I understand why this costs two. You can then make this card... Here's here's my, my thinking. You make this card free. You play it. You make another card free. But that card you draw could have cost three energy and you put upgrades tokens into it already. You know, you, you make it ex more expensive, but it doesn't consume, so now you have like a, car, a card that costs four, and you're drawing it, making it free. That's pretty good. Siren Song, Pyrebound. Ascend all enemy units on this floor and apply Dazed 3. So it's, it's the claw, but all units, and it's third floor to the top. So if your heart does 40, I don't know why I'm calling it the heart. I'm thinking a Dungeon Keeper. If your Pyre does 40 damage, you can do 120 damage before they even have a chance of attacking with this card. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Apply Spell Weakness 2 to enemy units when they enter the floor below the Pyre room. You know, that that's that's a lot of damage if you can play a high damage attack, so that's a pretty good artifact for Stygian Guard. Cards drawn 521 new record. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Good run, slowly getting closer to the Umbra and the Melting Remnant. Looking forward to seeing what those uh, are like. And I gotta admit, I've been using a lot of the the uh, Bristling and the Cultivating Sentient here. I haven't really been using Rejuvenate, deal 50, 15 damage with a front enemy unit, but we've just had a, a good situation to have the Spike's Revenge. I, I like Revenge, actually. It, it's very tanky and the extra card draw helps you to get to your, your good cards early, and then putting some spikes on that, you know, for the uh, the run we just had was just kind of icing on the cake and allowed us to get our, our spike enablers out there. But if I start a run and I have some rejuvenation in hand, maybe this is what I'm, I'm going to take. Because I haven't taken it yet, but we'll see. In any case, hey, great run. And you know what? There's the run summary right there.